Hey, good morning, Afrin here. Today I'm here on Barrett Lake. This is the opener for Barrett Lake, which is only open from May through September. It's opened on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. You have to buy a ticket from Ticketmaster to get on this lake. I'm out here with the guys from Ritual Angling. They lend me two rods to try while I'm out here fishing. All right, guys, I'm stoked to get out here on Barrett Lake, so let's go ahead and start fishing and see what kind of bite we can get into. There we go, guys. Oh, good one. Sick. Nice one. Ate that swim jig right there. It's on that Ritual 7.5 Heavy. Dude, Jack pulled him in. <laughs> Jack pulled him into the kayak. Came off that little log right there. So, good to know we're starting to catch him here. Number two on the swim jig. Right on the lip. See how easy it came out because it's barbless. So three eighths ounce, a little, little war baits swim jig. Click, we got another one. So again, the lake is a, a barbless lake. So all the hooks need to be pinched down. All the barbs need to be pinched down on the hooks. And I will lose a lot of fish today at the boat because of that. But it's catch and release only, and it's to preserve the fishery. So I'm fishing a 3 8 ounce war bait swim jig in the recon color. It's a real natural presentation, something that these fish are probably used to seeing uh, forage wise. So I want to feed them uh, what they're eating, what they want to eat. And then I got it rigged up with a small net bait chunk. Good one. Oh yeah. Oh, ah. Flipped off the hook, I'm telling you. Dude. Whew. All right, caught another one on the swim jig. I was swimming it through these, these stick ups right here and got him, but he flipped off because we were running barbless, so. I gotta be cool and remember that it's all good. Even though that fish came off, I mean, that was still fun. There we go. Not this time, not this time, not this time. Ugh. Swim jig. Dude, not this time. You're not getting off this time. I'm talking boat flip. Boat flip in this little kayak. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's kind of square, like looking like a football. Ate that swim jig. Dude, stoked. All right, guys. Good one on the swim jig. My biggest one so far. Kind of a ah, two and a half, maybe three. Square looking fish. <laughs> stoked. Dude, we're on something, so let's keep with it. So I've caught those two right here in these stick-ups. So I got both of those swimming the jig through this, through this stuff right here. We're sitting in about 13 and a half foot of water. I think I'm really gonna concentrate on this wood. Stick-ups, wood, 13 foot of water, close to shoreline little ambush spot. All right, guys, I just saw a bass swipe at my jig just now as I was reeling it up. So we're going to see if we can't get him to come back on it. The water is totally tea stained. There he goes. Oh, it came off the jig. I'm telling you, dude, I'm telling you that freaking pinched barb thing, it'll get you. Oh. When I was reeling the bait up, back to the kayak, I saw a bass swipe on it. So that's a good sign that there's a fish there. So I came back in 
on that area and, and dragged it across the rocks and <laughs> hooked that one, but he came off when I tried to bounce him. Pinch barbs. <laughs> oh, pinch barbs challenge. I got him to go again. Yes. Not this time, buddy. Not this time. You're not throwing it this time. Talk about one hungry bass. Came back again for it. Again. Got him. Ha, look how easy that came out. Dude, let's appreciate this bass because it took a while to catch. <laughs> Oh man, stoked to get this one. It's been a while, so glad to get another another largemouth. Yes. Talking pinch barb challenge. Who wants to jump in on that? Not many people I know. All right. We're going to go ahead and put on a new jig, 3/8 ounce war bait swim jig. Right now we got a little twin tail Gary Yamamoto trailer on there. I've been using this Netbait's pocket craw trailer, but we'll, we'll swim this for a little bit and see how it does. We need to pinch that barb down, so we're gonna take the pliers. Really need to work it here. Pinch it real good, because that's gonna be a ticket if uh, DFG comes up in here and checks us. So right there we have, uh, we're gonna fish this swim jig and see if we can't get, see if we can't get some more fish. Got another one. Big one. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. Right there. Nice fish. All right, guys, that's my third fish off this little corner right here. And it all started when I saw that fish flash on my jig I was as I was reeling it back to the kayak. And this one's the biggest one so far. <laughs> it's about a three pounder, you know, solid little football. Stoked, 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 stoked. Ha, <laughs> there it is again. You can see it's a chunky little fish. Look at that, got that, got that knot head right there, little fins. Big old gut, nice belly. <laughs> All right, sweet fish. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water now. Pumped. Dude, so stoked. You see what I had to do right there? I had to jack him right into the boat because, I mean, I'm fishing barbless hooks, so, I mean, they're gonna shake the jig. So that was the first cast back on that new swim jig I just tied up. Again, it's a 3 8 ounce swim jig and a little Gary Yamamoto twin tail grub right there. And this is on the Ritual Angling 7.5 Heavy. Quick review, badass rod. It's, a, it's gonna be a great flipping stick for you guys that like to flip. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just swimming that jig with it. I think it could be used for calico fishing too. Maybe like a light application swim bait or a little uh, rip bait. Abu Garcia. STX, this is a Gen 3, so it's a little older model, but eight to one gear ratio. So as soon as I feel that tick, I'm just ripping them in. Oh, I got one. Underspin. Underspin in Kitech. Yeah. Yeah, right there. I just got a little one on the half ounce. Smoky Shad underspin with a Kitek swim bait. Stoked. All right, pumped. Got one, guys. Whoa, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Dude, surprise catch. Mud, mud marlin. <laughs> 
<laughs> Check this guy out. Look at this. Look at this catfish. What the heck? He's all stunted and gnarly looking. Got him on the swim jig. Oh man, haven't caught a catfish in so long. Look at him. <laughs> Dude, catfish. Catfish on the swim jig. <laughs> Let's get this guy in. Ugh, slimy. I'm gonna say it counts though. That's a fish, click. Oh, good one. Oh, good one. Yeah, big one. Look at this, guys. Good one right here. Look where I caught him. This is the kind of stuff I was fishing right in there. That junk right there. Caught him right in that stuff. Got that grass bass. <laughs> yeah, right there. Nice largemouth bass. Again on the swim jig. That's a quarter ounce recon war bait swim jig with a net bait pocket craw. Hew. Dude, got him. Nice one. Super stoked. Well, what can we say? Bear Lake, it's an amazing time out here. It was a little tricky today. It wasn't a wide open bite by any means. I got in the high teens today for catching fish. Most all my bites are on the Warbaits 3 8 ounce swim jig with a craw trailer. And I was winding that slow on the bottom, a low and slow presentation, just swimming the jig through the flooded timber. Thanks again to the Ritual Angling crew. It was fun using those rods. I want you guys to follow their Instagram page for updates and the releases on their rods. Link will be in the description below. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you guys want to see some more adventures, go ahead and subscribe. Find some time, get out there, go fishing, hook that giant. Giant. Tree fish.